Just now, SMS talked about compensation via mediation, and this is provided both parties agree to attend the mediation. So my question is, what if one party refused to attend mediation, or the end result of mediation it is not satisfactory? What recourse does the injured party have uh, besides taking legal action? Second question is, Nissan Town Council, we have our bylaw where the open space, common area, there's no cycling allowed. So how does, does is this in, can be continue to be implemented under the new Active Mobility Act or otherwise? Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Engineer Dr. Libiwa for the two supplementary questions. Uh, on her first uh, question on compensation avenues, uh, currently there are three ways uh, where the victim of accidents can seek uh, compensation. Uh, the one which uh, Engineer Dr. Libiwa mentioned was through a private settlement uh, via mediation. And uh, if, of course, if this uh, can reach uh, agreement, such agreement can be enforced via contract. The other possible avenue where victims can seek compensation is to civil action, i.e. to pursue a civil claim. And for this, the victim may have to initiate legal proceedings, unfortunately, against the cyclist or the person who caused the injury. And if the court rules in favour of the victim, and the court will have to order the defendant to pay damages to the plaintiff. And of course, the last uh, modality where victims can actually uh, seek uh, redress will be to file a police report of the incident, and uh, police will then carry out investigation to establish the cause and liability. And depending on the outcome of the investigation, the offender may also be charged you know, for other uh, behaviour like speeding or recklessness uh, under the AMA or for causing uh, grievous hurt to others by a rash act under the penal code. And the victim may also choose to seek compensation. Uh, I mean, what I mean is that if, if it's uh, found to be liable, then the court may also uh, uh, decide on the compensation amount that the, the injured person will receive. On the second question on the Town Council uh, bylaws, the Active Mobility Act applies to all public paths, including paths in Town Council areas. And therefore, Town Councils are not allowed to ban PMDs on paths or enforce any bylaws that differ from the provisions in the AMA. The AMA will take precedence. The only exception to this is the void decks. And void decks are excluded from the AMA because it is not critical for connecting, uh, for connectivity. And the safety concerns at void decks are also stronger because of the layout you know, of the pillars. There may be many blind spots available. And for this, TC can choose to enact their own bylaws relating to the use of active mobility devices in void decks. But like I said, you know, LTA will be happy you know, to find out the details uh, from engineer Dr. Lee Bihua on the incident, or the, the, the example that she brought up. And we will work with the town council to see how we can better address some of the safety concerns in those areas mentioned by the member. <laughs>